Hello and welcome to this tutorial which will show you how to use your Yamaha Genos with Expansion Manager. As you can see on the screen here we've got the Expansion Manager 2.5.1 software loaded and again if you click on the little information icon here it'll tell you which version you're running. Yamaha Expansion Manager version 2.5.1 you must have the latest version of the software in order to load packs into your Genos. So if you don't have 2.5.1 currently, uh, then it certainly won't load. So make sure you have this latest update. Okay. So in order for us to um, use Expansion Manager with Genos, we need to export some information from the keyboard firstly. So what we do is we insert a blank USB stick into the front slot on the Genos. We then press the menu button, which is a white lit button to the right hand side of the screen. And then on the screen, we on menu page two, you have a button on the right hand side, which is the third menu down called expansion. If you press that, we then go for the top button which says export instrument info okay click OK and it will say that your instrument information has been transferred to the USB stick once you see that you can then take that USB stick out of the keyboard because now we've saved the information from the from the instrument onto the stick and then you insert it into your USB slot on your PC or Apple Mac now your computer will need to read this file so that it knows that you have the Yamaha Genos. If you don't do this, Expansion Manager will not have any idea what you're doing because it won't have an instrument to save a pack to. So here we are back at the computer and as you'll see here, we've got install target. This is where your keyboard will appear. So we simply, now we've put the stick into the computer we click the plus button and we want to import instrument info so we click it and it goes to our list of drives now here you can see there's my USB stick and on my USB stick you can see the file that the keyboard has saved genos instrument info dot n27 so we make sure that's clicked and then we click open this will now tell genos uh, that tell the expansion manager that you have a genos keyboard and lo and behold there it is it's now appeared as an install target install target basically is uh, where your packs are going to go to so if you've got a tyros 5 your tyros 5 would appear here uh, and obviously you can then pick which which instrument you want to save it to we are saving packs for genos so therefore there's our keyboard okay now what we need to do is we need to add the pack that you've purchased so if you've purchased uh, any, any expansion pack it will load into this software so you see here where it says my packs if we click there it shows currently we have no packs whatsoever the whole screen is blank so to add your pack we simply click plus here and we want to import the pack so again we click and we go to my usb which is where i've saved the pack that i've purchased so here we see sound packs 80s pack dot ppf that's the the sound pack that we want to load in so we highlight it and we simply click open now the computer program is reading the information off the USB stick and it's starting to add your pack to Expansion Manager. So just to recap at this point, we've added Genos to Expansion Manager so the software knows we have a keyboard and now we're adding a pack into the software which then we can create a separate pack for to load back into Genos that will actually work with the keyboard. So it takes a few minutes, and as you see here, it's loading all the files. It'll slowly get to the end and then go back straight back through again. There we go. And our pack is loaded. There we go, look. We now have an SP80s synth pack. There's the voices. 
list of all the voices that are in that pack. Um, so there we go. So that's now in my list of packs here. Now if I click to go back onto my Genos, or Genos, depending on where you are in the world, um, you'll see that the pack is now there and it's ticked green. Now this little green tick here indicates that when we create an external pack for the keyboard, that pack will be part of the saved voices. If it's unticked, as you see here, and it's grey, no pack, that pack will not appear when you load the pack into the keyboard. So if you find that you've created a pack for the instrument and some of the packs are missing, this will be the reason why, because if it's not ticked green, it will not load. So we want to make sure that that's ticked green, and by doing so, you'll also notice that all of the little voices here have a green tick. The green tick indicates that all these voices will be loaded. Now, for example, this is going a little bit deeper, but for, say, for example, you don't want that voice and you don't want that voice. You can individually turn the voices off. So all the little green ticks will load, but those first three voices won't. But obviously, we do want to load these voices, so we make sure everything's ticked green. So as long as you've seen green ticks against everything, everything will load. Okay. So now we've got in my packs, there's the pack. Okay. There's your Genos. And that's now got a green tick against it to say that this pack will load into your keyboard. Now all we do is create a pack install file that your keyboard can see and read and will load. So we click here. We're going to go to our USB stick, which is here. See, there we go, my USB. And it's going to create a file called Genos Pack Install Data. Now this is important. Genos Pack Install Data is the file that your keyboard can read and will load with your new voices. So it's going to save that onto my USB stick. That's the file name. Simply click Save. And now the software will create for you a pack that your Genos will read, see and load. Uh, it takes a few minutes because obviously it's quite a big file. Um, but once it's done this, we can then take the USB stick out of the key out of the computer and put it into your Genos. So as you see here, this is all real time, so you can see roughly how long it takes. There we go, and now a pack has been created. So it says the pack installation file has been created. Formatting upon the installation of pack data on the instrument can take about 20 minutes. So you've been warned. Okay, so we know that when we now install this into the keyboard, it'll take around 20 minutes to do so. So what we do is we take, we click OK first. We take the USB stick out of the, out of the PC or the Apple Mac that you're using. And we now put the USB stick into the front of our Genos. Okay. Your Genos will say that it's recognized the USB stick is connected, which is fine. So now on the right hand side of your keyboard, there are six white light uh, buttons. The one on the furthest, uh, farthest top right hand corner is menu. Press that button and on your screen, you need to go to at the top menu two. Now, the third choice down on the right hand side, there's a button that's marked expansion. OK, press the button and on the main screen, you'll have two options. Now, the export instrument info we already have done, um, so we don't need to do that. We now need to load the pack. So we simply press pack installation. And on the on the screen, you'll see the USB stick. Now, to this point, if you've got a USB stick plugged in already underneath or in the back of the Genos, you may find that the USB stick that you've installed could be USB 1, USB 2 or USB 3. Easy way to find it is to go through them and you're looking for the file called Genos Pack Install Data and you'll see a little black button that says the word pack. As soon as you spot it, you simply press the button. It'll now say, start installing Genos Pack Install Data. Save all the data currently being edited before starting. Okay. 
Now, if you're okay with this, you simply click OK, and then OK again, and your keyboard will start to load your new pack. Once it's completed, your keyboard will ask you to turn it off. Once you've done that, you turn the keyboard off and back on again, and your pack is installed. To find your pack, have a look at our next video, which will show you how to locate the voices in your instrument. This whole tutorial may sound a little bit daunting, certainly when you listen to it, but as you go through step by step, it really is very simple. It doesn't take too long at all. Uh, I mean, this whole process has taken us about five minutes. Um, if you have any questions or any, any issues, feel free to leave a comment underneath. But the actual um, process of loading and creating a pack for Genos, as I say, is relatively simple. The only um, issue that you can have is if you miss out a step and you start jumping or sort of trying to take shortcuts during the whole process because you really do have to follow everything step by step from sort of A to Z. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, if so, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks ever so much for watching.